Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 33 of Let's Play Republic the Revolution. Starting off the episode on a positive note, a lot of shit just went down. So let's look at the memos before ranking up. So breaking news. So, banned underground political faction, aka ourselves, has pledged their support for charitable causes. We've even found a string of charities across the town of Kugachev. And due to the involvement of philanthropist millionaire Anton Kamensky, nobody is doubting how serious we are about this. So we've gained 350 influence points, the best currency after all, from Mr. Kaminsky. He can't trade his influence points. So what does he want us to do? Kaminsky also wants to play an active part in charity, and insists on meeting with myself regularly, which means we'll have to renegotiate things at some point. So there will be review meetings to make sure, essentially, that we abide by the principles of the charity, that we aren't just laundering money as I wish we could do. So what is there left to do in the journal? Objectives. Investigate the City Hall. If only I knew what that meant. But now, back to this ranking up. We need to get this out of the way quickly. So I'm wondering if we should strengthen the headhunting activity, or the, or the rally activity, or if we should simply start using takeovers as well. Although for once our influence is higher than our wealth, which means that we can't put too much money into the old wealth. How about we say fuck it and stick with the rally activity? By the way, I'd like to um, express my regrets. I'd like to say sorry for the fact that I wasn't able to release a video this Tuesday. I had some really important things to attend to, and hopefully we'll be able to stay on schedule from now on. Now it looks to me here that we're in a situation where we need to continue beating, beating the anarchists down. Basically, we have come to beat them to death there's no other choice. We're organizing strikes. We're, we're organizing beatings as well. We're gonna beat these guys to death once... Um, how can I say this? Essentially, we're gonna beat them to death the second that they cross our path again. I'm just looking firstly for a way to outdo the anarchists. But now, the latest statistics are in, we control almost three quarters of Pugachev. The Constantino cartel has been put onto a seriously defensive footing, while our resolve continues to rise. The Red Mafia is no more. The anarchists control but a sliver of the city, and the cartel has less than half of our street. If you ask me, Things are going positively perfect. And so I'm going to continue my attacks against the cartel. Two revelations ought to be enough to defeat them. In the meantime, I'll see if there's anywhere else that we need to start recruiting guys. I don't think there is, so I think that we are in a decisively positive situation. To say it rather softly, if anything, we are in a perfect situation to continue attacking. And that's exactly what we are going to do.
First things first, though. I don't understand what this whole investigate the city hall thing means. I've already investigated Pugachev Central a couple of times. So what else is there for me to do? For now, I don't know. So instead, we'll send our comrade Churnyeyev to scout out the Mir estate. One of the final fortresses of the cartel. We'll also send Ignatev down to Pugachev Fields. Because now is our time to shine. The city is coming under our control for good, and there's no chance that we are going to lose this position. And I mean it, for once I can say it with complete sincerity. No more propaganda here. There is no chance that we can lose. We're too big to fail. I know that many an organization has said that before completely collapsing and falling into bankruptcy, but that's not us. Seriously, it's not us. We can't afford to lose the center, though. We've got the canvas, the campaign, to do all that we can to preserve our benevolent influence in these areas. Our enemies are truly dumbfounded. They're collapsing with every passing minute as we continue to seize ground and to hold it. That's the big difference between our previous campaigns and this one. For once we're actually controlling this land, these neighborhoods, that we'd previously pried out of these other motherfuckers' hands. We're finally swimming in points, no more shortages, we tightened our belts for a couple of episodes, and did what we had to do. And now we're reaching top. The very top of the food chain, at least in this town. The problem now is that I don't know what the next step is. I don't understand this idea of investigating the city hall. It's taken us about 50 days since we got the objective, and it still hasn't happened. So find a contact. So apparently we're supposed to gather information on the mayor and the city hall, and neutralize any secret police activities against us. I'm not sure if that's in fact as important as it's, um sold to us as being, seeing that we've prospered rather recently. Although at the very beginning, I must admit that we were on shaky ground, and I wouldn't be surprised if the secret police was in fact behind it. How else could you explain our abject collapse as we were about to annihilate the anarchists? We controlled about half of the city at that point, and we fell down to a third. Since then, though, of course, you can clearly see the change in fortunes. And what the fuck just happened? The Red Mafia! Red motherfucking Mafia! Control half of the city center. When in the name of the Almighty did this happen? Alrighty then. Change of plans, because these sons of bitches think that they're cool, they think that they're smart, but in fact they don't know crap. And I'm going to launch a poster campaign in Pugachev Fields to let everyone know that nobody else knows crap besides us, the NPRM. This is our town, our turf. And if you get in our way, you're going to seriously regret it. Or at least that's the lesson that we want them to know. So the Red Mafia used all of the points that they had left to launch a rally. Seizing them half of Pugachev Central. 
devious, sneaky tricks. I respect them for that. But it's not going to keep them in the game for long. They are going to fall. They must fall. No other choice, no other option. It's just bound to happen. In the meantime, Comrade Baturin's resolve seems to be rather low. And I'm wondering what the hell is going on with that. Because losing Baturin would be the greatest possible tragedy. I want to see if his, if his resolve degrades any further in the coming days. Because if it does, we're going to have another obstacle, to put it mildly. Anywho, the Mir Estate, one of the final fortresses of um, cartel domination, is about to meet its grisly end. Or at least the cartel's domination, anyway. I have nothing against the locals, although we'll see how things go. If they come out on the streets demonstrating against the NPRM, they're gonna get a savage lesson or two. In the meantime, we need to preside over this situation. There's surprisingly little to do. We're getting back into the old monotony of last year. For better or for worse, to be honest. The suspense is going away. As our final enemies meet their final defeat. I'm starting to wonder whether the cartel was behind the whole secret police operation against the NPRM. For all I know, there might not have even been a secret police operation, but I'm going to take it as a given that there was. And so, <laughs> same way as in the old days, there's really nothing for us to do right now. It's the middle of the night, not many activities going on. City Hall is here, I want to check if there's any illicit dealings going down. It's a rather nice place, not gonna lie. And someday, it will be ours. We are gonna conquer this city. We're going to take the mayorship. We're going to show the entire nation, not only this province, not only this city, but all of Novistrana, that the NPRM means what it says. It means business. And that's not going to change. Gosh. <laughs> I'm wondering what this guy is thinking. And it's interesting how we can check people's opinions now. We can actually look at them. I think he might be an enemy of the movement, though. So we ought to try and handle him better. It seems that the entire population is a bit tired of our tactics. Although not enough newspapers are coming out these days. Or, um, us to be able to gauge public opinion properly. It's interesting that it took me 33 full bloody episodes to find out this feature, though. So it seems that people are catching on the Red Mafia's manipulation. Their brief 
assault to try and gain control of Pugachev Central is exactly that. Brief, fleeting, doomed to collapse. Sooner or later, we will be in charge once more. Even if the cartel controls like a common, we're gonna take it back. It's one of our old heartlands, a fortress of the NPRM movement. And I just said movement twice, but nevertheless, it is the linchpin of our initial strategies. Without it, we'd be in a much poorer position. So we need it. We need all the territory that we can get. Not gonna lie, really. But nevertheless, whatever's going on, I just can't find out what's going on, what's happening at City Hall. In all honesty, why am I being told to investigate the place? So fortunately for us, public reception of the Red Mafia hasn't been especially positive. Either that, or they simply lack the power to put their agenda into um, what Talgai said us. Into action, into practice. Because even though we're intrusive, even though we talk shit often enough, that doesn't matter because of one important thing. And that thing is that we have power. We have the political clout to put our agenda into practice. But still, why the hell am I... What is this? Dig deeper. Oh. Oh-ho! Well! That only took 50 days to... to remark. But it's good. At least we found out about it. So now I'm gonna launch another strike in Natanson town to destroy and um, distract the authorities from what's going on. While we, in fact, investigate deeper into the quagmire of the City Hall. I'm about to throw myself into municipal politics. For better or for worse. Might be bad, might be good. I don't know, and I don't care. What's important right now is winning. Making sure that we hold the land and the influence and the power in this city. And this is the strategy that we're going to keep taking on with us throughout the series. And so, if you want to continue to see the series being produced, if you want to show your support, because at this point only roughly 10% of my subscribers seem to be watching the videos at most, but nevertheless, if you wish to show your support and be part of that select 10% elite, do not forget to leave a comment, to leave a like, and to subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. I have been the Nerd Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for today.